Hey, I want to take a moment today to answer a viewer email and address a gun that people have asked me a lot of questions about on live chats, via email, etc. over the last few months. Now, the person who sent me this email question asked me not to use their name because they said they are foolishly considering buying one of the piece of shit guns in question and they don't want anybody to know they're buying the gun. So I won't use their name. And their question was, why do I think this gun is such a piece of shit. And this gun is the A-Rex Zero One. Now, a lot of people have heard me in the past say fairly negative things about the A-Rex Zero One. And they're wondering, why do you not like this gun when every other channel seems to be singing its praises? Or a lot of other channels are singing its praises. Well, first, the first thing you gotta remember is there's some channels out there that'll sing the praises of anything as long as you sign the check. Uh, but I don't really think that's the case in uh, this situation because I do think the A-Rex Zero is a decent gun. I really don't think it's a piece of shit. Uh, I don't think very many guns these days are pieces of shit, to be honest. And I'm going to say shit as many times as I can during this video, I guess. But if you wanted to, if you were shooting back in the 70s, 80s, you saw some pieces of shit back then. There were some guns back then that were, I think, more dangerous to the shooter than they were whoever they were shooting at. But that's just not the case nowadays in, uh, in an environment where you get sued if your product is uh, defective in any way, you get sued out of existence. I think more manufacturers are less willing to put out guns that are dangerous or just crappy. So I think most guns nowadays are pretty good. But uh, with the A-Rex Zero, where I get mad at it is when people say it's just like owning a SIG. It's just like a SIG, only cheaper. Well, it is not like a SIG. Get that out of your head. This gun is nowhere near a SIG other than its physical resemblance to a SIG. If you look at the gun up close, if you pay attention to the details, it's just nowhere near as nicely built. The edges are more rough. It's built more cheaply. Uh, it's built more like a polymer gun. It's clearly built to be lighter, uh, easier carried than a SIG, but I think SIGs carry just fine. But when they do that lighter build, it does suffer a little bit. And plus, like I say, it's not as refined. There's some rough edges on it, etc. Now, especially when you look at the front of the gun, there's some differences. If you pay attention to the A-Rex Zeros, there are a lot of sharp edges and thin metal. The rail sides are very thin, very sharp. All the lines are very square and sharp on the front end of this gun. It's just not very refined, very cheaply made. Uh, and I don't mean cheaply as in like cheap products. I mean cheaply as in in the way that would cost the least to actually mill it and put it together. Whereas the SIG is more rounded out. The, the, the flares are thicker. The metal's a little thicker. The barrel itself is even a little thicker. Uh, it's just a little bit better made gun. Uh, not just a little bit. It's actually a lot better made gun. Everything is more thought out. Everything is more refined. It's just a better made gun. But still, you might say, well, that's okay because the SIG is so much more expensive than the A-Rex Zero. The A-Rex is about a $600 gun, where the SIG P229 is about a $1,000 gun. But even that argument doesn't hold up too well, because if you shop around a little bit, you know, you can find the A-Rex for around that $589, $599 price. But if you look, you can also find SIG P229s for about $100 more. If you look here from the same source, it's about a difference of $100. And that's not just this one source. You can find the SIG P229 quite often for that range of about $100 more than the A-Rex Zero. So price isn't really the best reason to choose the A-Rex Zero. I would actually pay the extra $100 more for the SIG because it is, like I said, a far better built gun. But all those things taken into consideration, if you were someone that says, yeah, but I like the fact that the A-Rex Zero is lighter and I like that it's at least $100 cheaper, at least $100 cheaper, I'd say, yeah, that's okay. Right. That makes sense and it's a decent gun. So that's a fair comparison. That's a fair argument. But I would do that, I would say that, if that's where the differences ended. If it was the weight and the build quality were the only differences and, you know, and the price were the only differences, then I'd be like, you know, you want to save a hundred bucks, you want a little bit lighter gun, you know, go right ahead. But that's not where the differences end. The biggest difference is A-Rex Zero is a gun that took the great design of the SIG, which is I think is one of the best designed carry guns around, the decocker, the double action, single action, hammer fired gun. They took that same principle and then they put a manual safety on it. It's like taking the Mona Lisa and saying, you know what would look good? If we put her in a blonde wig, you know, or we stuck a big red clown nose on it. You know, it's just taking one of the best gun designs in the industry and just ruining it by sticking something on it it doesn't need. 
But I can still see that if you're someone that has to have a safety on your gun, and you've always liked SIGs, but you won't carry them because there's no safety, then I can say, okay, well, I guess maybe the AREC Zero is a good compromise for you. But for me, I'll, for, for just about $100 more, I'll stick to the original. I'll stick to the SIG P229, which I have, which is what I'm carrying right now. So I, you know, I practice what I preach. So I would spend the extra money. I would get the far better gun because I don't think a manual safety belongs on a carry gun, period. But that's my own personal opinion, and it might not be your opinion. I don't think it belongs there, period. And I just think the SIG is just the perfect carry gun the way it is. So why would I need a cheap imitation that's not that much cheaper and adds that safety, which I think just ruins the gun. Real day.